Good morning, how's it going guys? John here from Adrift Fishing. So look, today I'm just gonna give you a bit of a tutorial on what's called technically shore jigging. Um, generally you do it from the shore and it's really, really popular in Europe and stuff like that. Not many people do it here, but it's really also ridiculously effective from the boat as well. Um, basically what you're doing is you're chucking micro jigs, um, like these little fleas here. This is an old one, it's a bit banged up, but uh, I think that's 14 gram. And you're pitching it up like you would a soft bait um, over likely area. And then you're, you're basically flicking it and hopping it back, sort of in a horizontal sort of method. You're hitting the bottom every, every now and again, flick, 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 bring it up, let it sit, flick, 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 bring it up. And the snapper find it really irresistible. I've caught so many snapper using this method. And a lot of the time when the soft baits stop working, yeah, you know, it's not necessarily that there's no fish around. It could just be that they're eating small. They might be looking for little shrimps and, um, you know, pumping the sand and looking for mollusks and that sort of stuff. And if they do startle a bait fish, it shoots up off the bottom, which is effectively what this is doing. Whereas a, you know, big seven-inch plastic, if they're not actively hunting bait, it's not always going to work. So that's why this method is so effective. But yeah, like I said, it's basically, basically like soft baiting. You cast the lure out as you would a soft bait, watch your line, let it sink. You know, once it hits the bottom, which shouldn't take too long if it's a reasonably weighted jig, this one's 14 grams, so and then just give it some short hops. Almost, it's almost like iggying a little bit, um, just not quite so aggressive. And just hop it off the bottom like that. You can change up the retrieve, you know, that, that's a little bit aggressive. I could just go like this, you know and work it up. Oh man, there's a mean work up out here. Bit out of my range though. And yeah, the snapper are feeding small and they're head down in these sort of areas, sandy areas predominantly. This is a really good way to find them because you get to cover a lot of area really quickly and you're always in contact with your lure as well. You don't have to wait quite, quite as long as with a soft bait for it to sink. And yeah, they generally just, they smash it. It's a really effective way of working shallowish areas, um, whether you're from the boat or from a kayak. Fish just busted up right next to me. Um, I'll see if I can catch him. Let's go that way. Would have only been a car wire, but something on the line is always good. And that's the beauty of doing these sort of things here. Uh, because they do catch so many different species, you can just switch switch up the retrieve, you know, target a different species. You know, I mean, we've caught kawanee, snapper, gurnard, blue cod, kingfish, you know, you name it, all the reef species and stuff like that. I've even trialled them um, over in Australia, same, same, same sort of retrieve, same sort of method, and I've been getting flathead, flounder, whiting, all sorts of Australian species as well. So yeah, if you find the soft baits aren't working, give this a try. Mm, this is a good fish. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, nice snapper. That's what we're talking about. That's my first uh, post-COVID snapper. Oh, yes. It's that. Ew. On the flea. So what did I tell you guys? Short jigging or jigging at range with little fleas and these sort of things. Honestly, so effective on snapper. Yeah, so look, that's how the um, the jigging at range for snapper works. If you want to see some um, some action from last week when I took it out and did quite well on it. Yeah, that was an epic session. Got a heap of trevs, got a heap of snapper, heaps of kawa, too many kawa. But um, yeah, check it out. Um, but yeah, it's just really, really good, good method to work on snapper. Um, didn't have any luck today on the um, on the jigging, but didn't have a lot of luck on soft plastics either. So no worries, guys. Cheers. Catch it.